Hey everyone, this is Matt from Channel Homestead. We got Christine. We're a little giggly because we don't do videos very well together. If you guys notice, a lot of times it's um, one or the other. But we wanted to give you a behind the scenes look um, us making goat milk lotion. So tonight is Friday night. It's a normal night for us. Hunter is asleep upstairs. It's 10 o'clock. And it is go time. So my um, first job of the night is I cut the straws so that they fit in the bottle. So I have to cut out of each one this much. This is my little template. And I, um, I cut it off with a pair of scissors and um, basically we make every one so that it custom fits the bottles. All right, so what are we doing over here? I am scooping out the oils to get the right amount that we need. This is coconut oil. We buy it by the five gallon bucket. And that's actually the right amount that I need. So it's pretty precise on what each, she's doing. Each batch we do gives us about 15 to 16 bottles. So I do my first amount. All right, so you got the coconut oil in there. Okay. Next is shea butter. So we buy our shea butter in bulk. Um, so that's why it looks like it's in all big chunks here. We just reuse the same container. It is a pain, as you can probably see in my hand, <laughs> from having to scoop it. <laughs> it's like scooping frozen ice cream. It's worse than frozen ice cream. Yeah, it's, it's the, probably one of the worst jobs there is. Yep. So, so what are the other two items? So then we have stearic um, acid. I can yep. read the covers. Yep, and emulsifying, and emulsifying wax. Yep. And we also have. I didn't pull it up yet. And my oil is over here. The Channel Homestead whiskey. Good old sweet almond oil. All right. So Christine's gonna get those ready and she's going to heat them up and we'll go to step number two. In the meantime, I'm going to cut straws and I get the bottles ready. That's the pasteurized goat milk, which is in there cooling off after doing the pasteurizing process and we are good to go. You guys will find that pretty much every job that I do, I'll tell you is arguably the worst job. So I line them up, cut them, put the old one aside, tonight we're only doing two batches so that's um, 15 um, to a batch so we're doing 30 tonight and tomorrow night we'll probably do four batches so 60 bottles so tonight's a early night for us we got some other stuff in the farm stand we gotta get the st patty's soaps and stuff out there and um i gotta shrink wrap the conditioner bars and stuff so we're got a few other things on our plate tonight so we're just getting getting what we need to fill the farm stand for the weekend all right so everything is heated up so i just added my oils to my goat milk and I'm just about to measure out my Octofen which is um, the natural preservative that way the milk does not uh, expire or go bad size yep everything's gonna be an exact measurement it's gonna be a little loud This is what's mixing my oils and the goat milk. So I want to get that all measured, uh, mixed evenly. This is called a stick blender that I'm using. So I want to thicken it till it starts to not be so watery, but start to get a little thickness. And then I'm going to add my Optifin. The preservative, mix it around, and then I'm going to thicken it just a little bit more. 
before I pour it, but I don't want it to get too thick because then it will be hard to pour into the bottle. Consistency. Should be about good. And then I pour into a smaller um, container here so it's easier to pour. It's always fun to try to do without spilling. Not a job for me. <laughs> All right. Let me do the pouring. Just enough rum so that the straw doesn't overflow. The straw again. does not overflow when I put it in. And it happens. And it happens sometimes, and that's why our hands are silky smooth. <laughs> Hunter loves this lotion so much, he asks me for it all the time. It helps his diaper rashes, and so he doesn't get any, like, wind burn from the winter. This lotion has been so awesome. Is this the unscented? This is our unscented. So the only difference between this and a scented batch is... I would have added my essential oil or fragrance oil right after my um, preservative, the Optifin. And the last step, or I should say one of the last steps. Yeah, it's a little label. Now that bottle is ready for a label. See if I can do this with one hand. We actually changed our labels so that they're um, more of a glossy. Um, they're waterproof. Is and again doing this with one hand, not the easiest thing. And there you have it. Completed goat milk lotion ready for the farm stand. Christine tells me she printed more. Hey, Hopi. Back in business. So batch number one is all done. Looking pretty good. I'm exhausted. Got my bottles done and ready to go. So I put my, kick my feet up and Wait for Christine, the professor or kitchen air or whatever you want to call her, to work her magic and make her amazing lotion that works wonders. Um, we're both pretty exhausted. She got to manage the farm all day and take care of our son, which I'll be honest is definitely a handful and a half. So. Round number two, normally it's round three and four after this, so we're actually looking forward to a, I mean, I guess you can't really say it's a, an easy night because we gotta do what? Farm stand stuff. So we gotta restock farm stand with all our St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, I have to re-label some candles that my stupid labels ended up being like weepy on, I don't know why. It's all learning experience for yep. us. You live and learn. Figure out what works, what doesn't work, what you can improve on. Just like my camera angles. <laughs> He's learning, people. He's learning. <laughs> but we figured we'd give you guys a behind the scenes look at what the heck we do. Because, you know, this is just a normal, a normal. 30 year olds Friday night. That's <laughs> what we do for fun. 
Everything's going to be to the exact number to get the right recipe. All right. And we're good. So Kristen's going to heat that up and add it to the milk. I don't even know what time it is. 11, 11 something. Ugh. Last part of the video of the night. He's talking. Kristen, he's got. All kinds of stuff. I've got all the lotion that we made tonight. So we're gonna um, restock the stand. Tomorrow's a big day because all the St. Patty's Day soaps and stuff are going to be available. So it <coughs> should be a big weekend anyway. Um, <coughs> I don't know about you guys, but the weather's starting to feel, I mean, tonight it's pretty cold, but should start getting a little bit nicer coming up here. So that's our game plan. Um, and again, we appreciate all the... Um, all the customers, all the help, everyone that's been supporting our farm and our family. Um, so if you guys could like and subscribe, that would be great. And it kind of helps get our YouTube channel out there and um, definitely swing on by the farm stand. And if you guys have any videos you'd like us to um, do, we have a bunch of plans that we're gonna be doing with the garden this year and um, Christy with all the goat babies and all the other animal stuff going on so we have a bunch of plans for sure um, but if there's any specific videos you guys would like to see um, definitely comment below the video and let us know what you'd like to um, you'd like to see I know Christy wanted to do a quick little thing on the goat milk lotion um, in the fridge um, especially this time of year so I will let her take the reins from here yeah, so I just want to let you guys know um, our goat milk lotion does not need to be refrigerated even though it's kept here in our mini fridge. Um, so when you take it home, you can just use it as normal and keep it out on your counter um, or by your bed, wherever, your bathroom. Um, so we just keep it in the mini fridge that way it doesn't freeze uh, because it's out here and our farm stand is not heated. So um, in our, if you come in here and our tester bottles aren't working, just feel free to unscrew it and try it out that way because they do freeze because they are outside um, in the element and it's, it's like probably 20, 30 degrees right now. Um, our mini fridge is kept at 50 degrees so um, it keeps it so it's not freezing. So a lot of people get confused because they think like a fridge so it'd be colder but it's actually warmer. So it's kept at the highest degree that we can uh, keep the mini fridge at. So. So that's why um, it's kept in the mini fridge. Just so you guys don't get confused, it does not need to be refrigerated when you bring it home. So that's it, yeah. So um, I don't know what else. Yeah, we're gonna be, come on out and check out our St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, once we get past St. Patrick's Day, we'll switch over to the Easter theme. So it's always something fun here. We try to keep it interesting and um, change it up all the time. All right, thanks for watching, and again, if you could like and subscribe, and um, if you look on Channel Homestead on Facebook, you'll find us there as well, um, and that's an easy way to message us and get a hold of us. Thanks for watching.